Now, this is a fly I'm going to be tying. Now, this fly, the, the season passed there. I had a few in my box and uh, it fished extremely well. It was a great pattern for the duns coming off. Uh, two sizes mainly I fished were size 14 and 16. The style of hackle, and it's a, tight, it's a parachute hackle, just drawn back with some dubbing. But I tied in some wings, uh, the CDC wing. Instead of using a post like this fluorescent post, I wanted more a natural wing. Uh, so we've got the parachute style with a, a basic CDC wing. But it sits well, even with the hackle fibres as you see under there, you just leave them like that. The, you could trim them underside but don't, it works, works fine, the fish do like it. So I'm sure you'll like it once you see how it's tied. Now this, the hook I'm using, this is a size 14, it's a medium wire hook and this one's from Full of Mill. It's an all-purpose medium, now you could use any hook you want. Uh, this one was barbed, I, I took the barb out. Uh, I just like the length and the style uh, of this hook. You could use whatever hook you, you have. Now, thread I'm going to be using is the Light Cahill in 8 Now, I have waxed the thread. Now, what we do is to tie our hackle in, I like to take the thread down halfway, remove the waist, then come halfway back up, and then the floss. Now, the floss I'm using is the Glow Bright floss, it's a very fine floss. And this is number 8, which is like an fluorescent orange, peachy orange. Now, I've got at least about 10 strands in there, and what I do is I brush them. I brush them together. So when you tie about a good inch of this forward, so we've got plenty to work with. And then tie it down. Now when you tie in the hackle at the same time, now the hackle is a, is a pale olive. It's a very pale olive hackle. This is, to get this colour you need to... Uh, I use actually a brown, a Vineyard's brown olive dye, but it's very little. I'll show you the colour of the cape. This is the, an old genetic cape I've got. I've had for many years. I've used it up. Not much left of it now. Uh, just the smaller hackles down the bottom. So I've taken one away to suit this size of the fly. Now remove, obviously, the fluff. Now you want at least about uh, two or three mil of the stem showing so you can tie it down. So I'm just catching it right facing forward, right on top. And then I'm just going to post both together a wee bit. Just a couple of turns underneath. Just to bring them both, the floss and the hackle together. Bring the thread to the, the back of the hook. And then I'm going to cut it at an angle. So we get a tapered cut. Trim away. Yeah. Now I'm tying the tail at the same time the way you're down, tying this in. So I've got a couple of Leon fibres. You could use whatever you like. You could use the same cape. The early, I'm using the couple of Leon fibres. The LED will last a wee bit longer. And don't be shy with the number. A good half dozen or so. Now if you bring them 90 degrees from the stem of the feather, the tips do not actually line up. Tail them away. You're looking for at least a hook length to come over the back. Let me trim this so we can catch it in. Max your thread to give you the grip. Just catch this on the top. And then keeping a the hold of the fibres. Wind down. Now with the tapered cut should give you a tapered body. So you see it's tapering away. Keeping the fibres on top of the shank, we wind to the basically in line with the, the bar with the hook. Now before we let the tail fibres go, take the thread underneath, let them go now, and then bring the thread, pull it towards the eye, and this will open and lift the fibres, and then do a turn on top. You'll see how they separate. Simple way to do a tail, straightforward. Body could be anything. Could be the thread, could be turkey by it, could be quill, or in this case I'm using a fine dubbing. This is a a dubbing I've had for many years, got it from Orvis, and it was a pale evening done, uh, which is a good colour, very, it's a nice, it's a very light fibre, it's a nice to use in dry flies, especially in duns. Now you don't need a lot, you have the taper there, so you don't need to build up a taper. The taper's ready before I'm using the, the floss. 
we lightly dub it onto the thread and slide it up. Then we start to work up. And even if we've got just thread, the first three or four turns, don't worry, because it helps towards the taper of the body. And you just work your way up. Just keep going. Get a tiny bit more. Now, as I said, this was a great fly for me. It did extremely well. Nice pattern. It's a nice style. So any colour combination you've got, tie it like this. And now, what we want to do is then go in with thread turns. Come up the floss, come back down with three or four turns. And then we wind our hackle. Like we do any parachute. The one turn, the next one underneath. The next one underneath that. Then we get enough hackle. And don't be shy with the hackle fibre. I'd rather have it more on than less. Because we can always remove it. Once we're happy, then I'm just holding the feather, or the tip of the feather, below the hook. Just draw back these fibres, just pull them right back. So it reveals, there's your hackle. Now what I do to catch it in, it's really simple. It's just put my nail, my thumbnail, onto the, the stem. Nice and tight and then come up with the thread. Just three or four turns to make sure it's nice and tight. And there we are. And then we can then trim away the hackle. Make sure this is well tied in. Let's see where we are. That looks alright. Then we can use this as obviously as an aiming point. We can cut it to a length where we can we can see it. Like in the Spanish dry flies you'll see this used a lot, this method. Or this the floss. Now uh, you could cut it away just now. And I knew enough did it there, but don't. <laughs> you want to put the wing in first because you want to be able to push this out of the way. Then we're going to get a couple of natural CDC feathers. Now you're looking, you could use dyed if you want as well, just to give the impression of the wing. So I'm just going to bring a couple out. So we've got two, it's a medium sized feathers. I'm just going to, there's a natural curve in these feathers. And they want, it to, they want them to curve away if you want another. So if we lay them so they're naturally curving away, you can see it there. We can then pull the fibres, just line up the ends. Pull the fibres in. Just tie them. Don't want them, do want a wing length about the body length. So we just hold back these fibres to get a wing length there. Hold that, just change over couple of turns or so and then uh, two or three turns just to make sure it's secure. Just check where we are. We're happy then we can trim this away. I see this was a it fished really well this fly. Sits sits great, lasts long. So what I'm doing here obviously tidying the ends up, taking the thread back up, see where we are. The floss will naturally separate the fibres or the CDC, so you've got a feather either side. So, when what we do is to tidy this up, you could leave it, but a tiny bit of dubbing just finishes it off. Same dubbing. Lightly dub it onto your thread. Just lift the hackle. Just, I just lift these out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. Come right up. Tidy up. To finish off, you got a varnish onto my thread. Around about a centimetre from the eye down. And then go straight in and quite finish. One, two, three. You can then trim that away. You can trim the floss to length to suit. So I am only want just a slight tough so I can see it. Okay, push that towards the back. Helps you to see the fly for distance. And take it off there just to give you an idea. Now because of the, the hackle, it's a parachute hackle really. It, great, it gives a great imprint in the water, it sits well. 
Um, it's you can tie it as light as you like. Um, let me flat fluff there. I see. Take away. The hackle sits back. Just leave it like that. You could trim some of this away on the underside, but I, I just leave it. You can pull it up. But when you start to fish the fly, it starts to sit better. Once it's had a cast or so, it's very simple to tie. Though once you get into them, yeah, you can, if pink's a good colour to be used. The orange works. I can see the orange a mile away, uh, especially in the smaller flies. But you just reduce the number of you put in. So you're just tying a basic parachute fly, really, forcing back the, the post and tying in wings to give that nice impression of a, a dry fly. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's basically a uh, pale evening done pattern uh, tied in this style and a good colour that always usually works. So hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.